Well, that's it, kiddos. Had a nice dinner. My smellables are up in a tree. And I'm ready to go to bed. It's past 11 o'clock now. Whew, it's past my bedtime. What am I doing up awake so late? I don't know. Well, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful morning. About 7.30. As soon as I noticed it was light, it became hard to sleep. But uh, I had a decent sleep. I'm one of the better ones I've had on an overnight camping trip. Thanks, uh, in most part, I think, to some great suggestions that I had from my buddy Campfire Talk. Campfire, thanks, man. You're a smart dude. He suggested that I pick up three things add three things to my uh, backpacking loadout that would uh, make sleeping much more comfortable and they sure did tonight I got um, he said pick up you know, I have it here I have the bag for it anyway pick up a Thermarest this is the trail light Thermarest trail light I think if I'm not mistaken uh, sleeping on that laying down on that right now it's a fairly lightweight uh, I think I don't remember how much it weighs but it's fairly lightweight um, and very compact um, rolls up nice and nice and tight uh, inflatable uh, sleeping pad and it's way nice way nice the other thing he suggested I pick up is a Thermarest pillow this is the medium Thermarest pillow. Also rolls up nice and tight. It's all full of fluffy foam, so you unroll it, and then you just set it down and let the air sort of just get sucked into that foam. And, uh, wow. So much more comfortable than laying down on a rolled up jacket or whatever. That's real nice. The third thing he suggested that I pick up drugs. I'm not even joking. He said, man, bring yourself, and I'm not talking about illegal drugs, of course. He said, bring some Advil PM. Dude, why didn't I think of that? Of course. Bring some Advil PM. It will um, make it so you're not sore, which you are, as you're laying down after a long hike, right? And it will make it uh, so you sleep easier. You know, helps you go to sleep. So, Thermarest Trail Light sleeping pad, Thermarest pillow, and some Advil PM made last night a very nice night. So, if you want to have a little look around the inside of my tent here, real quick, I brought a, I think it's a gardening thing. A little gardening knee pad. I bring this in, in lieu of, you know, knee pads you know, or any sort of camp chair. This doubles as um, both those things. So I need some place to sit down. I want it to not sit down on a rock or hard grass or whatever, get my butt all wet, you know, because of the morning dew or whatever. Um, extremely lightweight. I mean, it weighs a couple ounces probably. And you know, you get the, the one that's just big enough for your knees to kneel down on, and you can also sit on it and be pretty comfortable. Just throw that in the pack on top of whatever. Awesome, dude. Timberland flumes have been very nice. Love these boots. Loving them more and more as I wear them. I picked up this uh, boonie hat, as you saw me wear yesterday. There's my glasses, of course. Um... The CLC handyman gloves have been part of my shooting and camping loadout for a while now. And one of them has got a hole in the, in the thing. There it is, a hole in the finger. But whatever, they're holding up pretty well otherwise. This is a Cabela's brand XTG or whatever their series is uh, pack. And uh, yeah, I think this is an older model. I picked it up secondhand for maybe 90 or 100 bucks, I think. It's, um, it's been fine. I mean, 
honestly, I'm sure there are much nicer, much uh, more comfortable ones out there. But, dude, I don't care. <laughs> this, one's, this one's getting the job done, and it's holding all my stuff. You know, it's kind of like that Brian Regan skit when he's trying to sell refrigerators, you know. It's like, this one here, $500, keeps all your food cold. You know, this is like 100 bucks, holds all my stuff, and gets it from point A to point B. <laughs> all right, cool. A shimach, I think that's how you say it, or shimag, whatever. Brought this for any number of uses and ended up using it as a pillow covering. Um, uh, the, of course, the Phoenix LD10 in the Phoenix headband. Yes, I'm using the whole thing configured as they suggest you use it. Um, I know a lot of my buddies prefer to... Um, take off everything except for just the band and the light, you know, the light clamp, and only use those things. Personally, I love having batteries right there. There's I've got a couple batteries in there. I love having my batteries, like, as part of the loadout, and I don't feel like it's uncomfortable, and it sort of balances the light, you know? So, um, yeah, honestly, um, and I've used it this way several times, so if you're thinking about buying this, I recommend you try it out in the normal recommended configuration first before you decide to strip it down, because this actually works fine for me. I'm liking it. Did not put the rain fly on. That's the rain fly right there to my Kelty Grand Mesa 2 tent, which you see that I'm inside of. Picked up this little bottle recently for like $2.50, a stainless steel bottle coated with some sort of rubberized material. I really wanted to do um, a cooking test with this, actually, and just sort of cook um, this in a fire, you know, and a boiling test and kind of inside the fire, just put that in there and uh, see how quickly it does, how quickly it uh, boils, and also, um, you know, what happens to the outside coating. Uh, you know, imagining that this is being used as an, in an emergency, um, as your your uh, water water purification uh, method. Um, didn't have time to do that last night and didn't make a fire at all, of course. But I picked up a handful of those bottles um, for various reasons. Oh, hello. And, you know, emergency kits and whatnot. Uh, yeah, they were on clearance price for $2.50. It's a real stainless steel bottle, non-lined on the inside, just coated on the outside. So, um, if I don't, yeah, I probably won't get around to that today, but some other time, maybe. There's my cook set, of course, the Optimus Terra Solo, and my uh, ribs pack, which I find to be an invaluable part of any loadout, honestly, at this point. Dude, I can't imagine not using that anymore. <laughs> yeah, by now, it's like, it kind of eliminates the need for um, cargo pockets and shirt pockets and things like that, because you can just stuff it all in your ribs pack. But um, it's also better, because you don't have to have things banging around in your cargo pockets, you know, and your shirt pockets that are heavy, perhaps. And, um, you know, sort of uncomfortable, and as you're moving around, you... You bang them against your skin, and it's annoying, right? But you've got it in your ribs, pack, your ribs pack instead, and it's staying in there very nice and snug. So, for a lot of reasons, I think the ribs pack is um, kind of a necessity for backpacking, hiking, all kinds of stuff. We'll do a, a nice formal tabletop review at some point, but just letting you know that I really like it. There's uh, the bag for my sleeping bag which is made by Ledge. It's a 20 degree bag, if I remember right. And you know what, the zipper on it totally sucks. It's like so hard to get it up and down. But beyond that, it, it packs up extremely tight and it's very warm and fairly comfortable inside here. So whatever, I'll put up with the zipper for a while longer uh, to be able to have this very cheap, I think I picked it up, again, clearance or something, for probably 20 bucks, or something like that, a 20 degree bag that packs up really tight and is, you know, workable, doable, 
Okay, I'll take it. You're probably not going to find it for that price, but whatever. Just rolling up my second sleeping pad here. This is the one that went underneath my uh, Thermarest trail light. And it's just a very simple, very thin, probably half inch, uh, closed cell foam design. And uh, just wanted to point out one observation, one uh, thing you might want to think about. I picked up this one for $7. The one that I went in to buy did not have foil on it and was $6. Whenever you're faced with a decision like that, get the one with foil on it. It uh, is potentially a better insulator, and more than that, in an emergency situation, that foil can attract a lot of attention uh, to uh, rescuers. So it was kind of a no-brainer. A dollar more for something that could actually save my life, maybe, and probably insulate a little bit better. You got it. I got the one with foil. Well, let's go get my uh, food out of the tree. And uh, talk to you in a bit.